Uh, hello guys and welcome. Uh, we're going to be uh, playing a new series in Romance of the Three Kingdoms 11. And we're going to be uh, uh, playing as Ma Chao in the Liu Bei and Shu scenario. Uh, let me go ahead and describe, uh, read the description I guess for now. It says, you are working to defeat your nemesis, Cao Cao. You have an alliance with Liu Bei and are on friendly terms with Liu Zhan. You, ha you control four cities, including Chang'an. Most of your cities are gathered in Chang'an and are prepared to fight at a moment's notice. However, it will be difficult uh, to face all of Gakao's forces at once, and you will want so you will want to act in concert uh, with Sun, Sun, Sun Quan. And I'm butchering these names, but it's okay. <laughs> Please don't. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. So and Liu Bei, uh, you will also want to leave soldiers in places like Tian Shui and Anding in order to contain Zhonglu. Okay, let's go ahead and, uh, and choose uh, Ma Chao. And just to give you an overall look on this scenario, uh, Ma Chao is in the northwest uh, corner, as you can see in the map. And you basically, you're allied with Liu Bei, so you don't have to worry about him. The only thing you have to worry about really is Cao Cao, because uh, Zhonglu is get, probably going to be attacked um, by Liu Zhang, so these two will take care of each other, and also this city is not really defendable, like, easily, so it's gonna be really hard if you want to attack uh, this city and capture it, because you're gonna be, uh, it's, yeah, it says on friendly terms with uh, Liu Zhang, that Macho is on friendly terms with Liu Zhang, but that doesn't really mean anything because once you capture this city, it's probably going to attack you. Uh, and if you capture this city, I'm going to show you on the in-game map in a second. You'll be vulnerable to attacks from both sides, from both Cao Cao and Liu Zhang. Uh, so what I, what I would really do in this situation is, uh, in this scenario, I mean, is, uh, is to fight Cao Cao head on and just keep a token force in Tian Shui uh, to hold off Zhanglu if he decides to attack. Okay, so... Yeah, Cao uh, Cao is going to be fighting Liu Bei and Sun Quan. Yeah, so these two are allied. Liu Bei and Cao and Sun Quan are allied. There's, uh, there's going to be a lot of fighting uh, between them. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, show you the settings. I'm going to be playing on advanced settings. I'm going to have these settings as you can see. Now this one doesn't really matter because it's not the auto turbine scenario. And fictional settings. Everything is historical. So let's go ahead and do this. So we can play the debates. Uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, we can play the debates and duels. I think that's good. Okay, let's start. Uh, we're gonna watch uh, the opening scenario. It was the year 211. The time of rival warlords grasping for power was long past. China was under the control of several factions. Having won Qi Bi, Yu continued their campaign, but suffered a major setback when Zhou Yu, who had been one of the pillars supporting them, suddenly died. Having obtained the services of the tactician Zhu Ge Liang, Liu Bei took control of Jingnan and began to build up his forces. At the same time, Cao Cao began to plan another invasion of the south. He had killed Ma Teng, thereby eliminating a major source of concern. However, complicating the situation was Ma Teng's son, Ma Chao, who was planning revenge against Cao Cao for his father's death. Zhang Lu and Liu Zhang found themselves inexorably drawn into the battle between Cao Cao and Ma Chao. China began to find itself the victim of countless conflicting interests. Okay, so that was 
really fun to watch, if you ask me. I really like this game because the scenarios, uh, the way you govern uh, your cities and things like that. I really like this game. So let's go ahead and see what the advisor has to say for us. It says our can travel. The uh, forest is cow cow. Uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know I can tell. Uh, in addition, we have formed an alliance with Liu Bei. Mm -hmm. There was two goals. Uh, your officers with gold. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Let's defeat cow cow and demonstrate the power of the Ark provinces. Cavalry to the entire land. Okay, well, let's do that. Well, first of all, because your advice wasn't really that good, we gotta change strategists. <laughs> uh, there's a better guy, but uh, we'll keep him because he's uh, Machao's father's uh, sworn brother, or whatever he was. Uh, so just by looking at the situation, uh, we can see that we have uh, uh, Tong Gate. And there's gonna be... Uh, I haven't played this scenario before, but I can... <coughs> uh, I think what's going to happen is that uh, we're going to have a lot of fights in this area and we're probably going to lose this a lot of times and one thing that I don't want to do is to cheese the AI by giving them, you know, by allowing them to control uh, the port and then attacking from attacking them there because that's uh, it's a really uh, uh, cheesy tactic. You know, because if the uh, uh, if let's say the enemy force has like 5,000 troops and they attack the port and capture it, they're only going to be fighting you with 1,000 troops out in the field, and they're going to leave 4,000 in the port. And sometimes they just use swords, so I'm not going to do that uh, in this uh, in this campaign. Uh, what else? Yeah, but let's just by looking at the situation, you can see that this area is probably vulnerable to attacks. Um, Zhang Lu. But the good thing is that he doesn't have officers. Uh, I take that back. These two are very good. Kind of good. But I don't think we're going to be having a lot of trouble with this guy. Because he's going to be fighting like continuous wars with uh, Liu Zhang. Because every time I come to this area, Liu Zhang just continuously attacks me. So he's probably going to be busy. These two are probably going to be busy. Uh, attacking each other. Okay, what else? This is this is like a huge bait because if you take it, if you play a Zangu and take this city, you're gonna be attacked from two sides, maybe three once uh, Liu Bei captures this and decides to attack you. But yeah, looking at this situation, this is gonna be the frontier where most of the action is gonna happen. So what I probably want to do because we have. This area specializes in having uh, a lot of buildings. We can have up to 22 buildings. So we want to have at least like two barracks and two staples. So we can continuously, uh, you know, churn out troops and uh, breed horses. So we can sustain our war efforts. And then we have these two cities in the back. I was going to build like, uh, these cities are really small. They only have 10 buildings. 10 building slots and this one has 15 but there's only this guy who's gonna take forever to build it up so we're just gonna build uh, uh, farms and markets over here and probably one barracks and one stable in each city mm, yeah and this city is also kind of small and these two are not very good at uh, building these cities up so what we're trying to do is probably build, build this up and then we'll transfer some officers to build uh, the cities in the back which are going to be uh, basically uh, supplying the frontier city. Uh, so yeah. And, uh, let's look at how many horses are here. Yeah, I have 15,000 horses so that's really good. So we have a lot of uh, yeah, basically we only have horses. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's good. Uh, I'm gonna try and build up uh, this city first. And we're trying to... So because we have 22 uh, building slots, uh, I probably want to be looking at maybe 7 markets, 7 farms, so that's gonna give you 14. And then 2 barracks, so 15 and 16. Uh, 17. 
18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So 7, 7, 2, 1, 2. And then just one of each, except our shipyard. Because, <coughs> I mean, uh, Macho doesn't really have any uh, specialized navy officers. Except this guy. Uh, this guy. Yeah. So what you're gonna do is uh, build these up. So... This guy by himself takes 40 days. Get this guy, 40 days. 30 days. That's good. Let's go ahead and build. So I probably want to optimize how much uh, the granaries affect uh, uh, the market or uh, the farms and so on. So I probably want to build the markets in here. Because that way. Uh, I'll, I'll explain it in a second. 40 days. 30 days. There we go. So if you put the... Let me let me show you the... Uh, this. Maybe 40 days. So if you put the... I selected. It says uh, neighboring markets are one and a half times as productive. So if you put it in here... It's gonna affect uh, six markets. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I probably wanted to build it in the middle, as opposed to building it maybe here. And it only affects four. So it gets an extra uh, efficiency. Become more efficient in building these things. So let's go ahead and build uh, markets. It's gonna be 50 days, 60 days. Now let's go ahead and see. The order is at 80, so that's just uh, yeah, we can forgive the inspection for now. Let's just build the markets. Yeah, okay, now let's go to the other cities. Like this guy can build stuff, but this guy, this guy's not really, <laughs> it's not really very good. So build markets, cause. Money is really hard to come by, especially because this area is like relatively poor in terms of uh, resources. Yeah, horses, horses, horses. We don't really have any specialization other than, you know, breeding horses. Which is kind of not good, but. Let's, uh, we can work with that. I think we just want to inspect it. Here. And so basically in this episode, it's going to be... I think there's going to be a lot of action. Unless they decide to attack me. Which I'm guessing that they're going to want to attack me soon. And that's why it's kind of... Uh, it's not going to be an action fact. Uh, first episode, I think. <laughs> yeah, so we have the markets in Chang'an, they finished. Let's go ahead and uh, we have a lot of food, and we can sell a lot of food to get. Uh, or we can buy a lot of food with what we have. Uh, let's go ahead and build uh, one more uh, market. So this guy. 30. Let's go ahead and build two more. That should be fine. Okay, we finished building that. Uh, how many days? It's gonna take 80 days, it's not worth doing it for now. Uh, let's see if we can search for any officers. Oh, we need to avoid these guys. Otherwise, these two. If the loyalty is below 95 in this game, they're very likely to uh, betray you. I'm just going to do that from uh, these areas. We have a lot of gold. Yeah. That should be fine. You can develop something else. Yeah, let's, do ahead, uh, let's go ahead and build a farm. I want to keep my military buildings in the back, just in case they do attack me and they 
break through. I don't want uh, my military buildings, especially my barracks, to be in the front. And let's get. Okay, we finished the, uh, the other farm. Yeah, 90 days, no worries. Let's go ahead and build this. We built uh, the granary here. So that way it affects uh, yeah, four squares. Let's go ahead and build a... Let's go ahead and build a farm. Let's build a, one of each. Yeah, this area is just... it's not gonna have any... Uh, it's not gonna have any use uh, in terms of military. Except, you know, like... Uh, making... Uh, making food and money. That's all I'm gonna use it for. It's, same thing with this. I'm gonna build like one barracks and one stable here. And the rest are just gonna be farms and markets. Let's say we have six options. We can probably go ahead and build the mint, which makes the neighboring markets one and a half times as effective. The ability here is gonna make these two, it makes all these uh, markets you know, more effective, and they give you more money. So you want to build that. I want to start building the barracks at this time. Because we have a lot of forces, but we don't have a lot of uh, manpower. So you want to do that. Oh shit. They spread rumors in Trumpa. So we kind of have to reward these guys. Yeah, we'll use this. Uh, Use the players because they make money and they don't really need the gold in there. Might need the food and gold from here, back in the city. But other than that, I don't think we're gonna, gonna have much need for it. So we can't really do anything for now. Let's look at the ranks. We can upgrade this guy, make him have one more point. Do that. I'd rather have these guys. No. Yeah. Have them up here. Nope. Oops. I think we can put it up here. Yeah, that's fine. So this way, when we uh, put her in this position, the second lift lieutenant. Uh, she, she can command 8,000 uh, soldiers. That's going to increase her pay by a tiny amount, which doesn't really matter that much. Yeah. So if you have a warrior type uh, general or officer, you'd want probably want to put them in the lower, uh, uh, not the lower, but these, these ranks, because they can command more troops. You can do the auto setting and it can do that for you. But I really like uh, doing it by hand. So I can know, like Lee can, he's uh, he's right here, so he doesn't really need to command, be able to command more troops, so I just want to give him the extra, the extra points, because maybe it helps uh, in making buildings faster, in making him build buildings faster, is what I meant to say. Okay, because the, he spread, the cow cow spread rumors in here, I'm gonna just go ahead and do the inspection, and... Can't really do much else. Let's go ahead and build a farm. So one of them, yeah. Probably do this instead. So the maximum number of days it takes to build something is a hundred days. It can go above that. So it doesn't really matter what he builds because he's gonna take a hundred days. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make him build a barracks. Let's put it here. Yeah, we can't really do much else. We've almost finished up, finished building this area up with the important buildings. Let's see. 
There isn't really any officers that I can recruit, which kind of sucks, but I'm going to reward this guy for building the farms and markets. Yeah, let's go ahead and build a stable. It's going to take 70 days. It takes 80 days. No, I, don't, I don't really want to do that. Yeah, this takes 40 days. Let's go ahead and build that. The order here is kind of low, but... Yeah, I don't want the... Uh, any rebellions... Show up. Uh, yeah, this is going to take a while. For these guys to build, build up these cities, but... It's going to happen eventually. You spread rumors on Tian Shui. Yeah, it has 72 over. That kind of sucks. You can't really fix that. For like f four more turns. So we'll go ahead and uh, continue with our production of food and uh, markets. And I know this is kind of boring to watch, but we have to go through these steps. Because we really can't go forward in the campaign without. Probably shouldn't have built built this here, but that's fine. Let's build one more. But yeah, we can't really go ahead, uh, you know, the campaign uh, without making sure that we have a good uh, infrastructure. Because otherwise we just won't have the food, or the provisions, and uh, the money required to wage a war on uh, Cow Cow. So let's go ahead and build a stable. And this is all we can do. Yeah, so we finished, you know, recording the, or building basically the most important stuff that we need to build. So right now, we can probably uh, start waging wars and things like that without having, without having to worry you know, resources. Let's go ahead and build one more farm. Let me see what's going on in here. That should be okay. I'm expecting an attack to be waged soon. Because I really need uh, more troops to be able to take uh, all of this. I also need uh, a workshop. And 79 is okay. 79 order is fine. Let's go ahead and build another farm. In here. We also need a workshop just to make sure that we don't take many losses attacking uh, these gates. Let's go ahead and build this workshop. Put it up here. And we build a. Uh, I guess we can go ahead and build another market. So that's one advantage of having uh, a big city like Chang'an. So you can build whatever you need in there, and that'll be without uh, taking too much space. Because you have a lot of building slots, which is kind of good. Yeah, the barracks is going to finish uh, building soon. Let's go ahead and build one more. Alternatively, what you can do is uh, make, it, make these cities a district and only focus on Chang'an. Because the AI will uh, build it up. Uh, kind of okay, but 
I really like filling those cities myself. In the video, I'll, I'll put a timestamp if you want to skip all this you know, boring stuff and when it gets to action. You know, we can start there. I think it's time we maybe look for some officers. Try and find. Find anyone. See? Oh, way of peace. Nice. We're gonna use that to wage war. <laughs> there are no free officers, so it's not. Yeah. That's whatever. Let's go ahead and build one more market. Another market. <laughs> Just gonna be markets all around. Oh, he's back. <laughs> he built a barracks. Nice. Now go ahead and build a stable. Mm. Yeah, let's build it here. They come. Let me see who's my available officers. Yeah, Macho, Made, all of these guys. So it should be fine. Let's take only 400 gold. Don't need that much food. I'm gonna bring them up here. Ah. I'm gonna summon some officers into this uh, this gate. This guy, and take this guy with him. This guy has a really good useful ability, which makes uh, making horses a lot better. We really don't, we're really not lacking anything important at this point. We just need another barracks and things like that. Just kind of not that important at this point. Yeah, but the action is uh, it's coming. <laughs> We're just slowly starting to fight a war. I'll just build a barracks here. I don't think we need to build a stable now. Yeah, they're not sending any. Uh, other officers, which I don't know why, but I'm gonna ha be happy with that. So I'll just come over here and smack this guy in the head. Damn, <laughs> 2,000 damage. <laughs> that is a lot of damage. At least half the food. Take 200. And if you're wondering, the reason I'm taking 200 is uh, you can build a, a fireball with it. You know, this one. Let's go ahead and uh, onslaught this guy. I'm hoping he will support me in this attack. Yeah, he took 700 extra damage. Because these two are. Uh, I think they're cousins. So that's why they're helping each other. It's kind of nice. Let's kind of build this granary. So I should hear the war music starting. <laughs> oh, that's not good. That is really not good. <laughs> I think it should be done. Uh, I think what I'll do is uh, I don't want to take this gate just yet. So I'll keep him in here and uh, make him march. This guy. 
I really need him to fight the war. But without him, I doubt that uh, my forces in Tianchui uh, can hold him. Okay, I'll send him up there. I'll send another unit to the wall. Send this guy. So, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of action right now. Uh, I think because this city only has like half thousand now, uh, I'm gonna be attacked very soon. Let's go ahead and ask. Uh, oh, they took the city. If these guys are not gonna be available. So like next turn. We can probably take this. I'm surprised uh Liu Zhang didn't really attack. That's okay. Okay and uh We'll just hold on. Let's see who has Oh he has a hand sway. I'm gonna defend this game. Make my I'll try and uh, see what I can do in terms of uh, diplomacy. We're not friendly to this guy, but he still doesn't want an alliance. Because I don't really want to take... Han Zhong, Han Zhong, without having an alliance with this guy first, because he's he's really annoying. Let me see what's. Uh... No, he doesn't have. There's a uh, technology, yeah, I think, which he can get from. Uh... Where is it? Yeah, on this one. Which makes him take zero damage on this terrain. But if he doesn't have it, he can lose like a thousand or two thousand troops just by marching here. Which is, you know, I'm <laughs> more than happy with. Just do inspections for him. We'll just wait. See what happens. Where is he? Oh, there he is. I want to stay out of his range. I don't want him to attack me. I want to be the first one that strikes. Let me see if I can uh, get an alliance with this guy. We can get an alliance for 6,000. Anything less? Do it. I'm more than happy with that. Just need some money. So. You can get some more uh, money from here. No, oh, he doesn't reach. This guy also doesn't reach. Yeah, let's give it to this guy. I'm gonna give him 300 food. That should be fine. So, <laughs> I made a mistake before at, uh, I gave my troops only uh, one food. And as they were transferring the food to another city, they died. And I lost all the food and money. <laughs> <laughs> it happened. Let's go ahead and continue building up these cities. It's gonna take a while. So let's see, I use this the cavalry in this city to defend it. 
Nope, we're starting to get attacked from everywhere, so I have to hold on. <laughs> Ah, fuck me. <sighs> Seriously? The order is 78, it's not bad. Man. <laughs> that really sucks. Now I'm gonna move these guys in this position because I want them to use the tactic that uh, the strategy that makes them attack each other. I guess I'll send one of these guys up there to help. Uh, well, the rebellion. But that really sucks. <laughs> oh, here they come. Oh, they destroyed the market. Tres spent like years building. Oh, boy. Now this guy has a skill, like the White Rider skill, which makes him use uh, horse archers without taking damage. Don't uh, we'll mess, we'll mess him up real good. They're only attacking me from one side, Some, which I can deal with pretty easily. Let me see if he's fighting any other wars. Oh yeah. yeah there's gonna be a lot of fighting. Oh, they took this recently. Nice. This is kind of good for me because they're distracting it. I'm just hoping that uh, Liu Bei will start soon, will start attacking soon. He has a lot of good officers in here. Let's go back. And, uh... I really want to start uh, recruiting a lot of troops. Let me see. I don't know why it looks like this. Yeah, visits, welcome. What business do you have this day? Oh, nice! Nice. Hmm. Nice. <laughs> I like that. Let me see if we march. Do we get to hit him? Nope. I think there's a chance that we can uh, confuse him. Let me see. It's 81%. It says down here. Oh, it worked. <laughs> okay. Now let's make. Uh, I don't know if we want to make towers or uh, rams. I think the towers are more useful. I'll make uh, this guy make him. It's gonna take 90 days. I'll recruit more troops and do some inspections. 
Yeah, I am. I need to wait until this guy becomes free. Which I think is next turn. Now, what happened here? No, they attacked each other, probably. No, it is a tactic. Nope, it worked. I did 2,000 damage, so probably my next turn. <laughs> yeah, poor guy. He's gonna die next turn. Now we can probably take this city, honestly. If we can destroy the barracks, we can easily take it. That's it. No, they sent some reinforcements. But that is fine. Uh, we can duel this guy. I don't know if it's gonna work, but... We can try. No, he refused. Coward. <laughs> That's fine, though. They can use this guy to God, when you. kill him. I can. You can go home. <laughs> Why do you use this guy? Come up here. The farm finished building, so. Uh... I don't know if we can. If we can take him on, honestly. Let me see what's this. 69, 54. 60 and 54. It's gonna be very close. Let's just do inspection. For now. Yeah, I don't know if I can take him out. Yeah, let me see what's going on in here. He doesn't want to duel. So let's kick his ass. Once we get our towers, we can probably start attacking. This is going to be a very close fight. If this guy stays and hits this, they are gonna win. He needs to pull back. I'll do one more inspection. And we'll do one more inspection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's gonna take him 40 days. I'm gonna lose the farms that I've built up, but I can't really do much about it. Yeah, we'll build uh, more markets, I guess. I can use this guy. I can set him up. It's gonna take me 30 days. There's another officer in this city. Yeah, he's, he's making the barracks. Probably after that I'm gonna make uh, make them a district. And that's not good. Who's the available officer? This guy? That's really not good. You can maybe take him out. Because this guy has a high intelligence stat. So. I'll give him 1200. And set him over here. 
Because I want to build some towers in here and some defenses. I'll use a uh, breach. Hey, you know. I'll breach Because I doubt that this unit can take it, can take this guy on, or this guy's spears. Let's finish this turn and uh, see what happens. Oh, what the hell? What is this? Oh, I didn't expect. Wow. Sure. Wait, we need some reinforcements. Right? We need to do a lot of inspections. Because if these two come marching towards me, I don't know how long I can hold out. <laughs> so that is a really interesting mechanic. I didn't know that they can spawn like, you know, a lot more. I guess that's because I have had the rebellion go on for so long. This guy's defeated. We can take this gate. We'll be in a very good spot. <laughs> oh boy. That's what I think. You gonna be there maybe next turn? That's kind of bad. She. Ninja Wama. Now put him over there. This gun is going to be defeated next turn. Yeah, I just want to make inspections at this point. Because I really don't want any more rebellions on my lands. Where did that guy go? Oh, he's been destroyed. He'll probably take this. He'll take some losses. Which, uh, which I think we can take. That's okay. He didn't get to the gate uh, to attack me, I mean. So he'll use this on him. Get confused. Then we'll just attack him. We have plenty of food. 160 days. Which is fine. I'm gonna send one more unit. That way. We have zero horses. Because I really want to capture this. Let me see if I can confuse this guy. Maybe the first time that works. Still don't want to march out of the city because I only have uh, four thousand troops. Mm. Just more inspections. 
Yeah, that's fine. Let me see if they respond by sending more troops. Nope. Just continue attacking it. She. Attacking this guy. And, uh, yeah. This way they're gonna be losing troops in here because if you stand in the red blocks and the blocks that are flashing red, now that means that you're besieging the city. So if you stay there, they're gonna lose troops, they're gonna lose food, and yeah, that's about it. So it's kind of good. We're doing we're killing uh, two birds with one stone. And let me look at. Uh, The situation up here. You know, see, they attacked the city. They really didn't do that much damage to it, though. God, would you? Yeah, wanna try and uh, confuse them again? That's just that. I'm gonna march with uh, 2,000. Mm, I'm giving 200. Uh, 400 is probably a good amount of money. Nice. I'm just scared that they're gonna spawn again. I like how in this game the rebels are different depending on where you are on the map depending on which region because right here you'll get uh, uh, Chiang chief and down here you'll get uh, non modern rebellions which are not affected by poison and then in the, in the, in the central plains you'll get you know regular rebellions they spawn with uh, with the uh, swords. There's their default weapon. It's kind of really nice. I really like this game more than you know, twelve and thirteen. So yeah. No, they're getting uh, <laughs> they're getting destroyed in here, but they did capture, you know, real shoot. So that's good. They're sending this guy. I don't know where they're sending this guy. Yeah, the swords. Okay, they have to sort. But yeah, let's keep going, really. And, uh, and Chang'e. I think we'll just make more horses. I think we'll make more inspections. I think over 85 is probably. It's probably okay. Yeah, we'll send him to attack. Alright, I think that's gonna be all uh, for this first episode. We really did a lot of uh, a lot of work. We established, you know, uh, this city as you know our main city, our capital. Yeah, we built a lot of stuff and Yeah, we built a lot of stuff all around. Except up here. You know, we built three markets and they all got destroyed by the goddamn rebels, which we will take care of in the next episode. And also, kicking Cow Cow's uh, bottom <laughs> in here. So, yeah, I think that's gonna be all for this episode. Thank you guys uh, for watching. I'll make sure to upload the episode too soon. Alright, see you guys.